Nutrition is the interdisciplinary study of food and how the body, body uses it. Water is actually considered a nutrient because it is so essential for body function. But we will focus on fats, carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. The basic functions of nutrients are first to supply energy, second to supply material for building and replacing body tissues, and third to supply other substances needed for the regulation of life processes. Not all nutrients perform all these functions. For example, vitamins and minerals do not provide energy, but they are critical to health. Lipids are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Unlike carbohydrates and some proteins, lipids do not contain multiple hydroxyl groups for hydrogen bonding and therefore do not dissolve well in water. Lipids include a large variety of molecules, fatty acids, triglycerides, waxes, steroids, and fat-soluble vitamins. Like saturated fats, unsaturated fats are made of a long chain of carbon atoms, typically an even number from 12 to 26. A chain of a fatty acid will have a carboxylic acid group at one end of the chain. Unlike saturated fats, Unsaturated fats such as omega-6 fatty acids, shown on the right in the slide, have at least one double bond, which means they tend to be liquid and oily at room temperature. The lower melting points of triglycerides which are rich in uh, unsaturated fatty acids are related to their differences in three-dimensional shape. Hydrocarbon chains of saturated fatty acids can lie parallel with strong London dispersion forces between their chains. They pack into well-ordered forms and melt above room temperature. Because of the cis conformation of the double bonds in unsaturated fatty acids, their hydrocarbon chains have a less ordered structure and London dispersion forces between them are weaker. These triglycerides have melting points below room temperature. Lipids have many functions in the body in addition to providing energy. For example, cholesterol is the most abundant steroid in the human body and also the most important. Cholesterol is a plasma membrane component of all animal cells, as well as the precursor of all steroid hormones and bile acids. Steroids are definitely complex lipids. Carbohydrates are composed of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and arranged as alcohols, aldehydes, and ketones. Most carbohydrates are produced by the photosynthesis in green plants. They usually make up about two-thirds of the human diet. The three main classes of carbohydrates are monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides are the simplest and cannot be hydro hydrolyzed to a simple carbohydrate, but they can combine to form di and polysaccharides. Hydrolysis is a word that means breaking with water. Chiral compounds are asymmetric. They have four different constituents, meaning they can exist in two different tetrahedral arrangements called stereoisomers. Because the stereoisomers have slightly different chemistry, there is a difference between their binding two molecules.
glucose metabolism provides um, energy um, by going through glycolysis and then through oxidative phosphorylation. Along with glu glucose, there are other important monosaccharides. Galactose is a component of the disaccharide lactose found in many plant gums and pectins. Fructose is a component of the disaccharide sucrose and is the sweetest of all the naturally occurring sugars found in honey and fruits. Lactose is also composed of galactose and glucose and is a major component in mammalian milk. Modern diets have increased the consumption of fructose as an additive at the expense of complex carbohydrates. There are two major polysaccharides. Starch is a polymer of glucose and provides the bulk of the world's food in potatoes, rice, wheat, and cereal grains. Cellulose forms a structural component of the cell and is what most woody material is made of, providing people with cotton, paper, linen, and rayon. Cellulose is actually made of a long on branch chain of glucose. The main chemical difference between starch and cellulose is the linkage or bonding. People can only digest alpha linkages, but many herbivores, like moose, have the enzyme to break down the beta linkages between glucose monomers in the cellulose molecule. When we eat meat, our bodies break the proteins down into amino acids that contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Our bodies also make some amino acids. Essential amino acids cannot be made by humans and must be consumed. Our bodies use the amino acids to build the proteins we need. Many proteins, called enzymes, are needed as catalysts for the biochemical reactions inside cells. The alpha carbon in these molecules is a chiral carbon, and amino acids are important examples of left and right-handed isomers. The linear sequence of amino acids in a protein is the protein's primary structure. For example, Human insulin is made up two polypeptide chains with a total of 51 amino acids. The primary structure determines the folding of the proteins into their secondary and tertiary structures. The secondary structure of a protein is the conformation of amino acids in localized regions of a polypeptide chain. The most common types of secondary structure are alpha helix and beta pleated sheet. Both these structures are held together by hydrogen bonds. Food has the molecules we call nutrients are directed along metabolic pathways in the body for energy, growth, and the maintenance uh, in various processes. Overall, this is called metabolism. Metabolism is the sum of all chemical reactions involved in maintaining the dynamic state of a cell or organisms. Catabolism involves the pathways that break down large nutrient molecules, like proteins, into smaller molecules, providing energy and uh, structural monomers. Anabolism is the biosynthesis of molecules. This requires energy. Energy needs 
differ based on age, gender, and activity levels. Although women have a higher ratio of fat to muscle than men, they usually require fewer calories because they are smaller. Generally speaking, we need to burn 3,500 large calories to lose one pound. Our basal metabolism rate, BMR, is the energy required by a resting body. This rate is much lower than our average rate, but our systems continue to demand energy even when we sleep. Malnutrition is caused by a diet lacking in the proper mix of nutrients and can occur even if the energy content of the food eaten is adequate, even obese people can suffer malnourishment. Undernourishment is experienced when the daily caloric intake is insufficient to meet the metabolic needs of a person. In the United States, 66% of the adult population is classified as overweight, with almost half of that population classified as obese. This can be at least in part explained by increased consumption of processed foods and decreased activity levels. The capacity to absorb nutrients and to turn calories into energy can also change with age and disease state. Obesity and its related adverse health effects are overtaking smoker and cancer as the number one cause of death in the United States. Although vitamins are not a source of energy, they perform vital biological functions related to the regulation of metabolism. Some globally common diseases related to vitamin deficiencies are scurvy, beriberi, pellagra, rickets, and osteomalacia. Another nutritional de deficiency is Kashikara disease, which is caused by a protein def deficiency and can occur when sufficient calories are available. In regions of fam famine, this is common in children between one and four years old because of premature weaning. Minerals are also very important for the proper function of metabolism, acting as cofactors. Many minerals and vitamins are available as food supplement, supplements, creating a $60 billion industry. Supplements are not as effective as good food. Elderly, dieters, alcoholics, and pregnant or lactating women may require supplementation of their diet. Processing often removes vitamins and minerals from natural foods, and they can be replaced sometimes with additives. Food atoms are mostly used to prevent spoilage, but also to sweeten, emulsify, or enhance flavor, color, and appearance. Antimicrobials, such as nitrides and sulfides, are used to kill microorganisms. But as sometimes they are toxic to larger organisms as well. Antioxidants, usually phenols, are added to slow the oxidative process and are intended to prevent oxidation of fats by combining with free radicals. Natural antioxidants such as vitamin C, vitamin E, and polyphenols also stop oxidation by combining with free radicals. Our global food system which has developed over the last century, has led to a decrease in quality of food. The benefits of eating whole local food, including those taken by hunting and fishing, can hardly be overstated.
Messages about nutrition have changed over decades as research goes on and more becomes known. Ironically, the current model is perhaps the simplest yet. You'll refer to this website in the lab assigned this week.